All right, so here we will do a quick instructional video on how to use a CP flow cell with a pump. So Anna will be the operator in this video and she will guide us through the steps. So let's take a first look. So what we have here is we have a reservoir, a beaker, and all of this is just regular water. And we have our flow cell and some tubings plus the pump. So why don't you start us off Anna by showing how to fit this uh, tubing inside the cartridge. So you can see she secures both sides and there's a red stopper on each side. And then both of these sides are secured into the cartridge. Now you can see that on the other end of this tubing, Anna has already placed a fitting. And this is just, you just thread the tubing over the fitting and then you're good to go because this one will be connected to the flow cell. So why don't you just take both cartridges, Anna, with the tubings and put them into the pump. So she aligns both and then she drags back the levers and they seem tight and secure now. So to prevent any leakages, she will be using some Teflon tape on the fitting. So she'll just take a small amount and wrap it around. Good, and then you can take and mount it to the flow cell. Just a little bit. There we go. Fits quite well, and it should get a little bit tight when it starts hitting the Teflon tape. That seems good. Is it good and secure? Yes. Yep. All right. So now we now we have to consider the flow directions. So. The tubings that Anna just fitted will suck out solution or air. So when we add liquid to the system, the water level will go up. And if it goes too high, this fitting here will ensure that it gets pulled out and back into the reservoir. So Anna can now take this other end and she will put it just on the top. So we will have excessive liquid uh, slash air coming out of this uh, tubing here. So for the other tubing, Anna, you can uh, take the part first that will provide liquid out. And that should be positioned in this cell here. Because as we can see, there is a gate in between. So if liquid is uh, added here, it will have to flow all the way around the flow cell before it can get extracted out. And so the other end of the tubing she will put all the way down into the bottom of the reservoir there you go and now anna will add some liquid to the flow cell just so we can get a starting position so if you try now anna to fill up liquid to approximately the same height as this uh, fitting that you inserted you can see the water will go from chamber to chamber You can also see that we're, we're doing all of this inside a box and that's just in case there is any leakage, we can contain the leakage within, uh, inside the box to prevent any spill on the floor or anything else. So now we can see Anna has filled up approximately to the same uh, height as the outlet. So please turn on the pump. There we go. And uh, now we set it to nine milliliters per minute. Uh, this can be quickly changed, so it uh, doesn't really matter uh, in this in this experiment. But you can go, you can experiment with both higher and lower flow rates. So now we can see that the tubings they were previously just flushed, so you can see there are some bubbles coming out. So if you hold in the speed button, Anna, we will uh, try to get some get the system to work a little bit faster. And hopefully soon these bubbles should vanish and liquid will be coming out instead. We can see no liquid has been purged yet. And now we see that liquid is starting to come out. So you can see that we are adding liquid. And then eventually this liquid will fill up to a certain critical level. And this uh, 
fitting here will act as an extraction point, pulling that liquid out and back into the reservoir. And the advantage of this is that the evaporation uh, will happen here in the beaker. Or, so the liquid level in the flow cell will be kept constant. So with this setup, you can set up a CP jig on top that will have sensors uh, going down into each single chamber and you can do a setup running for an extended amount of time. So uh, thank you for your help, Anna. This was a short instructional video on a typical flow cell setup. Have a nice day.